But you stop manufacturing in a country, all this other stuff is nonsense. You know, you have a service economy, so we're going to just tweet to each other. Uh, what are we going to do, text each other? That's all. It's great service economy. Eventually, our currency will go to hell, and we're going to lose our hegemony. I, I think the market, and I've said it before, hey, look, I, I have hedges on. I'm, I was more hedged than I ever were. I ever was. I, I, I will tell you there's certainly good companies. It's way overvalued at 20 times the S&P, and I'll tell you why. A lot of it is a result of zero interest rates. It's just what I said. You have zero interest and a lot of buybacks. Money is not going into capital. So think of it as a rich family that just has a lot of it, that decides we're just going to have a lot of fun. We're going to sit around the pool, and we'll keep printing up IOUs to the town. we got a good name. You keep doing it until you go broke. And, th- and this is what's happening in our economy. Zero interest rates are building huge bubbles. You, you have retirees that saved a million bucks, half a million bucks. They call me, friends of mine. Hey, what do I do with my money? I have to buy stocks. I said, well, why are you buying stocks? Well, I can't live on 0%. I said, what's better, 0% or lose the 30%? And one day you can lose it. But they're doing it. You've got these bubbles building in real estate. In, in, in New York alone, the real estate market's through the roof. It's coming down somewhat now. It's absurd. And, and therefore, I think the market is at literally very high levels because of zero interest rates. And if you really look at it, you, you know, the dollar is pretty strong right now, which is going to hurt international earnings. The S&P, you know, they, they live on international earnings. That's going to be hurt. There's going to be a day of reckoning here. I've seen it many times in my life. When things look good, they look great. You go into the sky. But that's when you have to really pull down and, and, and really stop by. Being that said... I'm not going to tell you it's going to happen tomorrow, next week, even next month, even next year, possibly. But it's going to happen, and you have to change the direction of our economy. A lot of these companies that are over-levered today and really not really what I consider to be making true earnings, borrowing money and buying back stock, this is making a false market. But worse than that, it's, co- it's costing them uh, it's causing them to have worn-out tools for their workers. It's costing them the uh, uh, the ability to to go into new things, and and therefore they should not be buying back stocks. What's going to uh, cause stocks to fall, Eric? I, I I think I've been talking about it through this whole interview. One of the things that's causing it to fall is right happening right under your nose that we have no capital spending. What do I say? Yes. None. Capital spending is going way down. In a society like us, manufacturing is important. I don't care. Sooner or later, you can't just keep tweeting to each other. You can't text each other. That's what that, We say we're a service economy. Everybody says, that's great. Well, we're a service economy. What does that mean? Do we text more to each other? Sooner or later, everybody is just going to sit and text to each other. And isn't that wonderful? So why should anybody work? Just sit there and text to each other or watch TV. So I am saying to you, this is what is happening as we speak. There is no capital spending is down. Obviously, it's capital spending. In the last two years, I mean, it's just down 4% in the last quarter, which is unheard of when you don't have a recession. Okay, productivity. Productivity has not grown. In fact, it's the lowest point it's ever been as far as growth goes. These are very important things in a capitalistic system. And so unless you have a dictatorship, but, you're going to go the way of Cuba. Well, Cuba was a dictatorship, but it still went that way. But but then you're going to go the way of Venezuela, Argentina. You're going to be in, in a major problem. No. We're, we, we are a capitalistic system. And you have to have companies that invest and have faith in their governments. And, we, and over the last eight years, we've become more and more at war with our governments, our companies. And you don't see them really spending. Now, you can say technology companies are spending, but when is that going to come to fruition? It may be years and years away. Actually, ironically, it's happened a little sooner than you think because you got more and more people walking around using the iPhones and whatever. But I, and, and, of course, you've got uh, globalization to help you somewhat. But I think, I mean, we could go into it for hours and hours. I think, I think that it, one of the problems you have is that... You were importing cheap goods from China all these years, and that's going to stop. So there's going to be all kinds of problems we could go into, and I spend hours and hours thinking about it. You know, I'm a bit of a workaholic, and I read about it a lot. But, you know, and by the way, I am not the only who I consider to be real smart guys 
saying just what I'm saying. I, I mean, you know, if if you read some of these guys, uh, they're pretty damn negative. And and uh, I, well, I've, I've, I I've, I've funny, heard it myself. They're the guys I respect the most. You know, I've, the ones that are negative. So I've I mean, heard it myself. And I keep saying this: rulings like this, what is understood, and in a lot of companies, thousands of CEOs understand the problem. They say one day. A regulatory agency, EPA, waves its wand, and we're bankrupt, or almost bankrupt, or losing a fortune. Why the hell should I invest in more capital? Why should I invest in more machinery? Therefore, we can't compete, and therefore, the, the, the middle class does not have manufacturing jobs, and we now say, well, we're not a manufacturer, we're a service company. Now, the thing that goes for this country, as you pointed out, is, you know, we're a, we're a reserve currency. But... I don't know how long you could depend on that. So I am just saying that sooner or later there's going to be a massive problem.